Welcome back to Sussex Farms for episode 40 with me, Mr. Sealy P. As is often the case with me, another Mr. CDP gaff. It's midsummer still, we haven't moved forward yet, simply because I've got a full load of manure. Um, the animals had built up plenty, so I thought I'll do another load now down to the biogas plant. You've seen me do it before, so I wanted to explain that I was doing it. Um, and then we'll take the digestate from the byproduct and we'll go and sell that, so we'll make a bit of money. And at midnight, we'll get paid for this. I'll put the cover on that. Um, what I did was took the harvester from field 39 down to field 25 and I did a harvesting contract and I recorded the whole segment about how rather than it going to waste and it sitting there and only using it a little bit during the season I would do some harvesting contracts, make a bit of money but also um, generally speaking if you fulfil the contract there's normally spare product left um, and then I accidentally deleted it which is just genius move. Um, so the harvester is now back and I've stored it away in here. It does need a clean but we'll sort that out. The header I've put under here because it was just easier to drive it through under there um, and what we'll do is the tr this trailer will go in that building there or it can go in this one here. It doesn't really matter which. Uh, as far as the animals go I always give you the regular updates. Um, pigs have gone insane. 435 chickens up to 471 i've still been weeding out the uh, males so we're apart from the roosters all females cows have slowed down a little bit but they're still increasing um and as far as milk goes with them we have got 56,000 liters blimey okay that's more than i thought so by the morning we'll have a load more um so as far as animals are going everything's going great problem is i'm getting close to my 500 limit on the pig enclosure uh, which is going to be an issue so potentially I'm either going to have to sell some off earlier than I intended which I think might be the best option the other option was to buy another plot of land buy another pig enclosure and then you start asking yourself I I'm going deeper into what the pigs have cost me will I recover that money kind of mentality so I think what we'll do is if we get close to that 500 We'll start going through some of the older ones, some of the larger ones, and we'll start selling them. I think that's probably the best bet. I was going to wait until they were as big as they could be and worth as much as they could be. However, the situation made it tape. We really haven't got a lot of choice in that. So, anyway, just thought I'd give you an update, let you know where we're at. Um, and I'll probably see you. I did say at the end of the last episode, probably see you late summer. Uh, what I'll do in the morning, I'll go around and feed all the animals as I usually do. Uh, we'll look at selling off a load of milk because we've got a load of it there that we'll need to get rid of. And um, potentially our new field, the one we bought down here that already had sugar beet in it, could be ready to harvest. If it is, we'll crack on with that as well. So um, yeah, got a few bits going.
It's late summer. 6.50 in the morning. I was just fiddling around with the cedar because we're now in the planting window for doing the canola. And what suddenly dawned on me, I bought this planter because I said, all I'm doing this year is sugar beet and soybean. I'm not going to need a cedar. And then went to hook it up and suddenly thought, hang on a minute, I can't do canola with this. So we're going to lease a different cedar, but we're going to do that in a little while. Um, animals are all fed. Everything's looking great there. If we go into this window... Pig enclosure, we're up to 500. <laughs> I probably could have had more, um, so I'm going to have to get rid of some. I don't I have to, I'm going to have to do that in a little while. Chickens are up to 486, still continuing to weed out the males. Uh, cows are up to 80, but we do have 77,000 litres of milk on hand. Um, now, we've got the milk sale point here at our little farm store. And there was another one, I put in another one down at the little farm shop thing that I set up. However, I did mention it got vandalised to the point where it was kind of smashed up and half buried in the ground. If you know what I mean. Um, I had to take it out and delete it. So, I'm going to be looking at another option, potentially. Uh, I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. But I'm going to do the milk first. Seventy-seven thousand litres. I've got sixty thousand litre capacity in this, so we'll do this first, uh, and then we'll get the last little bit probably. Do that too. Uh, we've got almost a full pallet of eggs as well, so I can look at doing that. So open. Mm -hmm. But I think it's going to be uh, selling pigs today. Let's see if we have ourselves a little piggy bank going on. Fingers crossed we make a bit of money. I will go into a bit more detail on that when we do it. I'm going to lease a trailer, but... Uh, milk. Let's go. Uh, yeah, um, we were kind of... I've been keeping a tally of what we've put into the pigs so far for the ten original pigs. I've mentioned it a few times, um, what we've spent on corn, wheat, canola, the trailer lease as well. Um, and then we bought a load of pig food as well. Because I've got a tally of the totals for that. So what we'll look at is what, what we need to get back from the pigs to make a profit on them. And to be fair, sitting at 500, when we only bought 10, how can we not make a profit on them? Some of them might take a while before we get to making a profit, um, because I don't know how many we've actually got that are in that zone. As far as selling them goes, if we go onto the economy page on here, on our Yorkshires, we're on that green bar at the moment, which is slightly higher than an average, I reckon. There's a couple of high, high spots we've talked about before, late spring and uh, mid-winter. But as far as the rest of the year goes, this isn't too bad a point. I'm not going to be selling them like, you know, autumn. Look at late autumn, early winter, that's horrendous. So, it's not going to be the best price, but it's not going to be too bad. So, I think that's where we need to be at. We won't go far with this. Just round to here. It's good that a little vending machine will take 60,000 litres of milk, potentially 77,000. Right, let's back that onto there. And let's sell. Blimey. <laughs> that is rocketing up. Oh, that's what I meant to do. Ooh. Maybe I'll do it for the other 17,000 thing is there's another um, there's another milk placeable so we had the biogas wars and now we've got the uh, the lactose wars um, yeah so if we look under placeables under miscellaneous I can't remember who the mod was by now I'm really sorry uh, but there biomilch the built bio milk oh hang on that's his buying station Oh no, milk can be sold here. This point of sale serves as a small self-market. So I thought, we sell it there, people buy it from there. That's what it is. 129,741, so we're looking at over 2,000, 4,000 litres. That's pretty good. I'm going to load up the next uh, 17,000 litres. And what I might do is place one of those down at the other farm thing and we'll see what it comes up with on the store... I don't think we're going to get, get as good a price as we are from the vending machines. But, it, again, it doesn't hurt to have a, a competitor in the marketplace. 
might give us a few options for selling, especially if the price is very good. So, well, that's filling up. Oh, look at doing that. Well, the company have been busy beavering away and they've already installed it. But, weirdly, I don't know why this is, uh, it's not showing up on here. Uh, I don't know why. Nothing's come up at all, so it's a bit of a gamble. I could go down there and sell my last 17,000 and make... Well, I'm not going to make a loss, I'm going to make money, but... I don't know what I'm going to make. Bit of a concern. We'll go down and try it out, that's all we can do. I'm going to head down there now. I know that's a good price there. <laughs> Crops are doing fantastically. I'm very happy about that. Uh, what I am going to do is one of the, I think the cedar I'm going to go for, just to lease. I think I'm going with the Lemkin Solitaire 12, which only seeds. So I've taken over the fertilizer spreader and I'm getting that third spray on now, or spread on now. Corn's growing nicely in field six. Everything's working as it should be at the moment. We're not... Whoa, he says. We're not far off that sugar beet field being ready. It's just not quite ready yet. I was hoping it would be done. So I think, yeah, we're definitely... We've got the seeding going over on field 39 for... Potentially, I think it's going to be a winter crop, isn't it? Through to spring next year. I don't think it's going to be ready to harvest again. We won't get a two crop out, I don't think. Um, and the pigs need sorting. That's the priority at the moment. Because while they're sitting there and it's full, I'm not getting any more production. So I might as well make some money in what I've got. Don't know why I just turned this way. Uh, what way can I go? I've cut across country. I meant to turn the other way. I mean, it doesn't, I suppose I can come on it either way. I come out the field here, back up the road and back onto the main road by the mushroom farm. We should be fine. there's an issue with it. I don't know why there would be. That's it there. I assume the cell thing will just come up the trigger. I don't know. A bit odd. Oh, there we go. Trigger's quite big. 17,000 litres. We're not going to make 17,000. Oh, I don't know. Twenty-one thousand. So it was over a thousand, but it wasn't as much as the other one. It's all right. It's all money in the bank. Okay, so on to the next job then. I was up to the store. We'll grab um, a cedar. We'll release a cedar, and I'll get field thirty-nine going, and then we'll sort the pigs out. Up at the store we are. Oh, sound like Yoda then. That was a bit weird. <laughs> Um, anyway, oof, don't know why I did that. Um, no, I've got nothing against Yoda, just sounded a bit peculiar. Right. I have kind of bounced backwards and forwards between different ideas on this. I was going to lease, and I was going to lease a cedar. Because we've got the planter there. Um, but the whole point about this, when I started off this Let's Play, was I wanted to start a farm. I was doing transport jobs, I was a haulage company, I wanted to build up a farm, so I need to be able to do anything. That's kind of the point. So I was going to, yeah, the Lemkin Solitaire 12, I was going to rent that, lease it, and just use that for doing the field. But if I've got the intention, and that kind of, even if the, if, and if I don't carry on forward year after year, the point is to set up a farm so that you could, I need to go bigger. Uh, well, not so bigger, but I need to get everything that I need. I'm thinking... 
I've got the horse Maestro 12 meter. The Evo 12375 will do the same job, 12 meter, but it's 171 grand. That one is 132 grand. They do the same job, that's 24 slots, that's 16. I know that's a little bit more intricate in its design, etc. Frame mounted, same as the new Borgo. Um, or the Borgo is the same as that, whichever way around. Yeah, the FMS, although, like I say, that one has the equipment in the front, seed cart behind, so you can see the planter. That one has seed cart in front, with the planter behind. So just. Uh, Horses for courses. So I think I'm going to go with that. Now, I could go with these. These, you know, if you want to, if you're starting out again, if you're new to all this and you have no idea about any of these types of things, this mod that came out was a cracker. 6,000 for a six meter. It's got extendable bits on it as well, round the back. So you can actually hook more of these together. Two of those, you've got a 12 meter setup for 12 grand. But then you do need a third one to hook the other two together. It gets a little bit fiddly with setting up. It's better for open country type stuff. But because you can hook those together in a line, like line and stern, one behind each other for transport, they're actually a pretty safe bet, those. They're not bad. But I'm going to go with the Serto 12 SC. I don't think I've used one either for a long time or before at all. So we are increasing our portfolio of equipment. We've got the money in the bank. We just made a load, so... That's kind of the point. Our milk money and our uh, digestate selling um, has just got us a brand new cedar. What we also need then is some more seed. I have got some, but I do need more. Uh, I do this every single time and I can never decide. Or not that I can never decide, I can never remember. I think I'd go with those, I think. I'm only going to go with seed in this time because I've just fertilised, so or I'm in the process of fertilising. So whilst this will do it, I think we'll just stick with that. Right. Just trying to think actually whether or not the large livestock trailer will be available for use. Whether the store has one that we can lease. If you know what I mean. We're set on wheat. We do not want to be set on wheat. change that we want to be on canola while I'm doing that I just thought I'd mention I mentioned it on the mod video I did yesterday I think it was yeah, it must have been, because No Man's Land, Jim's new map, has had an update. Why is that not filled up completely? Huh? Why is that stopped at 87%? Um, yeah, it's had an update from its original release. Um, if you didn't watch... Oh, okay, that's odd. That's now not filling up. Why did it stop at 87%? Oh, it's the front tank. Of course it is. Um... Yeah, initially upon release um, there was a signpost on the map where you could cut it down and remove every single tree on the map if you didn't want to do the trees. Um, and then there was um, a signpost you could cut down which would remove all the rocks off the map. The rock one worked fine but the tree one, if you removed all trees, caused catastrophic game crashes and all sorts of problems on console. So the update was that that has now been removed. So if you want to remove trees you've got to do it the old fashioned way. That's absolutely fine. The problem is, if anyone did start on the map, and I know a few people have got a few hours in on that already, and you were already removing trees, if you do the update, any trees you removed will reappear, will respawn. Um, so just to be aware of that, it has been updated. It's all fine now. You can't remove all trees. That, that function has been removed. Um, but you, won't have, you shouldn't have any problems with the map. I say you won't, I can't make that absolute guarantee, but you shouldn't have any problems with the map from now on. I know Jim is going to be looking at updates, he's going to be looking at new uh, kind of placeable mods to add into that whole situation, that scenario. I think he wants it to be a kind of constant 
development type map that if people have got ideas and he is very receptive to ideas and people suggest things that that um he will certainly give it thought and it will go away so uh, and, and and try and do something about it my apologies for that sudden intake of breath first bit of sunny warm weather we've had over here for a while and my hay fever has gone absolutely bonkers i have taken my tablets and stuff and, and I've been fine for days and days and days this morning I wake up and blimey my eyes are itching my nose is streaming oh before you say it it's not it's not the virus that must not be named anyway I'm to the field uh, I will get the canola going We've got way more seed than we need for doing that. And that's good. And then we will turn our attention to our little piggy banks. Little bit of money in, a lot of money out. Good return on investment, I hope. Should be. So many routes, which one to take? I think we'll go this one. Okie dokie, um, we should have, should have a spreader. Oh, there you go, right off in the distance, just about to see it. Um, because I had every intention of leasing just a seeder that only did seeding, not seeding and fertilising. Now I've bought one. But that's good. So what I'll do is I'll start on the bit I've already done. We'll go right across here. And then the other end we'll start then going up and down. We are now getting our canola in the ground for... But yeah, I think it's next year's crop, isn't it? We won't get a second one. There's no way between now and late autumn, early winter, this will be ready to harvest. I wouldn't have thought. I'd be amazed if it is, but we're going to get in the way of each other. Or am I going to get across just in time? We might just time this perfectly. Field ballet. English language, peculiar thing. Well, I suppose ballet is French, isn't it, technically? But um, I always remember when I was teaching, we were doing a lesson on... I don't know what we were talk, do, doing now. And the kids were asking about words and the pronunciations and things like that. And the dif difficulty with pronunciation is it's different around the world. It's different within a country, depending on regional dialects and accents and stuff like that. And, a and the English language is one of those ones. How do you explain to children, you know... It's constantly evolving. Our language evolves all the time. Words that were in common use 20 years ago aren't really as much now. Words that were hyphenated, were separated, and now what they call fused. Um, you've got words that were pronounced and were pronounced completely differently 50 years ago aren't pronounced the same way as they are now. We've become lazy in the way we speak. We don't pronounce all the, the syllables and letters and stuff in a word. But someone said, well, if you've got a fillet steak, um, why... Is it called ballet? And it's well because it's a French word, the same as a gilet, like a a jacket, like a body warmer type thing. Because of where it comes from. And you always get a but it's spelt it's got the E T on the end, so isn't it a gillet? It's a fillet, it's a gillet. Why is it not a ballet? It's like well <laughs> how do you explain to children? I mean you you can tell them well because of the language or from where it's from, whatever, but they just see what's in front of them, don't they? It's wonderful. I think that's one thing I loved most when I was teaching <clears throat> was that complete wonder and innocence and enjoyment of learning new things and the sort of questions that kids would ask would just floor you would absolutely you, I would be side splitting with laughter sometimes not at them because what they were saying and doing was just wonderful just at, you know we lose that innocence we use that we lose that I don't know that ability to just question everything you know because we live in a society now as well that's very judgmental and you ask a question and people jump down your throat you know that's obvious you should know this is this and this is that and 
you know, you must be an idiot. Why? You know, just ask. You know, it should be that. We should be free to inquire. You know, that's the thing, I think. Is, you know. Sorry, I'm going on a... Going on an educational rant. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, this will carry on. I need to sort out the pigs. Apologies for that little digression there. <laughs> I was on my way back with the fertiliser spreader and suddenly realised the fuel was looking a little bit low so uh, I thought what I would do is um, come over to the workshop where I should still have fuel in the tank here I think. Yes we do. We shall top up. Again if you didn't see the episode where I talked about this or uh, you're new to all this and this might be the first episode you're watching on um, this map especially there are fuel tanks started around the map where you can refill your vehicles, but they need to be filled up by you. This one, this is where you can actually refuel from, but to actually fill it up, there's a tank around the outside um, that you have to uh, utilise. Oh, that was terrible. Like that. Well, I've taken the contract on field 24 for. Um, fertilising, that's why I thought, well if I'm going to go off and do another job and, oops, reinstall it out so, uh, yeah, if we go around that fuel tank just there if you bring your fuel here, you fill that tank up, then you refill your vehicles from inside, there's another one at Plumpton Farm there's another one down at Abbott's Farm <laughs> this tractor is a mess, this has seen some work 24.2 hours on it. The wheel tracks should be in a bit for transport. So off to field 24 we will go, get this going, and then I will go and get the big trailer, I promise. If anything, I'm curious to see what the animals are worth, what we're going to make. Now, admittedly, when you buy them, I think at the moment, or when I checked yesterday, buying a Yorkshire, they're one year old I think when you buy them they were about 900 and something I've got obviously my ones that were one year old when I bought them and now I'm sure it says 2.2 because um, it takes a while before they start to give birth then they give birth then obviously the young I'm pretty sure my eldest or oldest young are 0 0.8 so they're not going to be up around that amount of money but they should be you know fairly high up, you know. I reckon around, if I'm lucky, 600 maybe. Which isn't to be sniffed at, at all. Uh, this is the field of one. Too busy talking, sorry. Oh, I'm going around there. No. I really do apologize. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I'm so sorry. My mistake. too busy chatting. This was not my phone. That could have been a whole lot worse. Anyway. I wonder this pays. This pays out about 16 grand this contract, but that's a big old field. That's probably why. Right, so we open the track on there. myself a bit of a run up, get myself lined up. Crack straight on. Bell. There. That'll do nicely, right. Well, I've overlapped a little bit, but not too bad, that'll do. Lovely stroll back across the countryside. Let's grab the lorry and we'll head up to the store. This yard is seriously filling up now, isn't it? Now I've put the second seed, so I've got the planter, the seeder will go there. The lorry will probably stay there, so this will become my tractor parking space, I guess. The fence will go in there. 
that's the point. Oh, I suppose I've got the other shed. Oh, I was running a bit too quick there. Over there, I could put the, I could put something over there instead. Not a problem. We still have space. All is good. Right. Let's get on with this. The question on the, not most people, but a few people have been asking already, and some people have been telling me what I should be doing. I don't think so, um, but I understand why. Am I going to do a Let's Play on No Man's Land? Will I do a Let's Play on No Man's Land? I have to do a Let's Play on No Man's Land. Um, you know how I feel about Jim's maps. Um, I'm not. There seems to be this weird thing. People think I love Jim's maps because Jim and I are friends. Jim and I are friends because of his maps. That's how me and Jim first got, you know, we kind of met up, so to speak. He was messaging me, we chatted, we did a few things, um, and we did a video together way back. We did a video, myself, CDG, and Jim. And Jim was messaging me saying he was making a new map, which at the time was this, the original version of this. And he sent me some pictures and stuff like that, and when it came out, I loved it. I thought it was a brilliant map. It was, it was right up my street. He picked my brain a lot about what I liked and didn't like, and he watched my Let's Plays and stuff, and that's what he's always done. He listens, and I've said that before, he listens to what people want and what they like. So, when his maps comes out, come out, they're the sort of things I like anyway. I don't do them because I'm, I have an obligation to Jim to always do his maps. Everyone's predisposed to a certain style of map, a type of map. I try to play on different types of maps because I like different types of maps. Do I like Jim's head and shoulders above everyone else's? Some of the time. Um... A lot of people, I've seen comments people saying they don't like Jim stuff because they find it very cartoony. I don't... I, mean, I, I, I don't know, I, I mean, I, maybe I'm biased, but I, I don't understand that. What's cartoony about it? Anyway, that all being said, I might well do. Uh, I'm thinking of ways to do it, because at the moment it is the... It's the map people are playing on. I know we've got Sandy Bay due out, we've got the Millennial Farmer map due out. Uh, there's a whole load of stuff still in the pipeline, you know, that's going to be on its way. Um, so there's loads of stuff coming out, but from the comments I've been receiving and seeing and people are sending me all sorts of clips, there's a lot of people playing this, and uh, not this, but No Man's Land, and I can totally understand why. Um, so if I'm going to do a Let's Play, I need to do it differently, you know? I'm doing my Pioneer series on the Hallmark Cra. Um I don't want it to be exactly the same as that there needs to be a differentiation between the two so uh, you know, I don't know in theory yes I still haven't answered the question haven't I yes or no mm, who knows bit of suspense you never know so hopefully if I've got this installed I really hope I've got this installed animal transports this one was by Vanquish 081 I think the LS540 this will hold 64 pigs now again this is a weird one when this came out uh we'll leave it as is i think lizards or trailer borgs i think we'll stick with lizards it's only going on the road i guess uh we'll lease that um people said it's ridiculous 108 sheep 64 you know that's way too many that's mad well on my recent trip my travels up to the lake district um on a Wednesday I think it was there's an auctioneer's up not far from where we stay and Wednesdays is I'm sure it's sheep day I saw a few of these and there were a load of these knocking around Lake District on our way up to Lake District on the way back double deck double stacked absolutely rammed full with pigs with sheep you can easily fit that many animals into one of those so the, the whole concept of it's it's a ridiculous mod it's not realistic it's absolutely realistic So, I, mean, I don't know if we have 64 that we're going to be getting rid of. I hope we've got quite a few. Let's get down and find out what the pigs are worth. We'll take them to the livestock market. I could sell them directly, I don't have to transport them, but... I want to do it proper. Proper like, you know. We all stick to the road because we only went with lizard tyres in the back of this. I could go cross country. I 
don't think the trailer is designed for off-road use. This is not mud runner. Although that kind of not say realistic dirt to that. Yeah, I mean oh, would be good, wouldn't it? Imagine getting tractors stuck in the mud and I mean, oh, I don't know, I just think it'd be brilliant. Winches and that kind of stuff. Just saying. Let's get the gate open. Helper Joe's completed their task. I'm assuming that's the... Hmm, uh, I would say that's the fertiliser spreading rather than the seed. Yeah, rather than the seeding. We'll go over to that in a second. Right, okay. Let's see, shall we? The moment of truth. This has been a little while coming. So, these are our brand new ones. 0, 0.0 years, 3.5 pound in weight. What we'll do is go down until we find anything that's expensive or worth more. Obviously, my original 10 I'm keeping, and this is my point. Now, I've just spent another four grand leasing this trailer, so I suppose that's an expense I've got to allow for. At the moment, in total, including the pigs, all the pig food, uh, the crops and stuff, I'm 56,774 into this. So if I take off my original pigs, which were about 10 grand, because I'm keeping those, but now allowing for that trailer, I'm about 50 grand in, I suppose, 51. So what I'm trying to achieve is over the course of selling all of these pigs off, and this is going to be a rolling process because the pigs are constantly producing, um, I need to make 50 grand back at the moment because I haven't used all the pig food. Um, I've still got pig food left. I'm still feeding them. So that's what I need to be doing. So they're 35 pound in weight, 0 0.1 year. I'm looking for the, the 0 0.8s, 0 0.9s, hopefully. We will come across our original 10, which are going to be up around, or oh, they're going to be fairly fairly large, I reckon. Blimey, I've got quite a few young ones, haven't I? You youngsters. 0 0.5, 0 0.7. Oh, there's a 0 0.7 one there for 670. The males have, have put on way more weight than the females. Look at that, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. The males at 354, female 306. That female's only 299. Plain price though, but the males are obviously worth more. Shall I chuck that one in? Let's move that one in. That one. That one. Oops, that one. 685 yep you're going in might come back to oh, actually you know what uh yep 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 oh 600 and above i'm putting in oh 703 nice Seven oh three, six twelve. Six twelve, right. These ones that are worth nine hundred are my originals. So my original ten, you see the number there? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep it on of those. So yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Right, 485, so now we're on to younger ones. Again, we're back to 0 0.4 years old. So I think that might be it for all our older stock. Our larger stock. Yeah, 228, 228. We'll see how many we've got in there. And we'll take those off to be sold. I think that's it. What I will do is make sure I confirm this. Confirm. Okay. 
well. Oh yeah, we've got a load in there. I don't know how many we've got in there. It doesn't actually give you a number, does it? We will see. So off to the livestock market we will go. Now, we are down to 439 in the pig enclosure. We were at 500. Oh, so I suppose there. Yeah. <laughs> so that's 161 we should have in there. 61 animals. And we've still got 439 in there. That's amazing. And the rate they're reproducing. I have to say, I, I don't know if it's just with seasons, but I know originally with pigs, I mean, it must be just with seasons, obviously, but it was one of those ones that you used so much feed and so much crop and it became untenable. You weren't making enough when you sold them to actually make any money doing them. But I'll be honest, I know I keep harping on about it, but having only bought 10 original pigs and then having 500 in there, 490 animals and they're still going those 10 original pigs will keep going as with all the other ones as they get older um, production might slow down a little bit now because I've taken some of the older ones out which may also have been producing but for, for not a huge amount of output or outlay I am getting some big numbers I guess the thing with it, with seasons, is it's like real farming in essence that, I know it's a game, but you know what I mean, um, it's about effort, it's time and effort in. It's going to take time, you know, it's not instantaneous, it's not like doing animals on the standard game, it takes time, you know, I'm now a year and a half, yeah, year and a half into this process, and only now am I starting to sell pigs. So yeah, it takes time. Um, if you're not a patient person, it probably isn't going to be something you're going to want to do. Where is the pig pen? Over here. And let's see what we make. So I say, my total I need to be hitting is about 51 grand. I don't think I'm going to hit that with what I've got here, but it's going to be a big chunk off of that. And because I've still got a load of animals, as they all start getting older, now, obviously, there's going to be more outlay for feed at some point. But I'm pretty sure I can keep ahead of my costs. Pretty sure I can. So. That was weird. don't know why I did that. Right, OK. Let's move them out. Thirty-eight thousand. Wow, that's more than I thought we'd go up to. 38,130 for my first offload. Confirm. That's blown my mind. Okay, that's fantastic. So, we've still got, like I said, we've got a load more in there. 38 grand, that's a big chunk towards the total cost. You know, that only leaves me, what, 12 grand to make? 13,000 and I've covered my costs already that's brilliant um, now are there easier ways to make money yes but on this map that's what you've got to bear in mind if you're going to be doing seasons you're going to be doing pigs and other maps the thing with Jim's maps and this map especially there are loads of ways that he's put in for you to make money and to make good money so can you make money like that quicker and easier of course you can on this map there are a lot of maps where you can't where it's a bit more of a grind. It might be if you're going for that more kind of ultra realistic kind of, you know, you're not gonna, you don't wanna pick up transport jobs. You don't wanna do, I don't know, whatever it might be to make easier money. Um, I honestly think pigs is a good way of doing it. I say, you have to put some effort in, bit of time, but not bad at all. We made money, they were piggy banks. I'm happy with that. I've got a funny feeling I know what the thumbnail is gonna say, but anyway. That's it, we've sold some pigs. Contracts are continuing. I need to go and check on that one and the seeding is continuing. When I see you again, potentially we might be in early autumn. I don't know, because I need that sugar beet to be ready to harvest. I will keep on feeding my animals and the constant day to day. 
which I said before, I, you know, I could film me just feeding the animals every day and doing that, but I don't guess that's going to be one of the things you want to see. Um, and as the uh, as the manure fills up, every time the manure's full, I've got enough in there for a full load. I'll be taking the manure down to the biogas plant. We'll be selling that, and we'll be selling the digestate. That's going to be a regular thing. The same with the milk. We've got enough milk. We'll be selling the milk. Uh, we're almost at a full pallet of eggs, so at some point you may see a little short clip of me getting rid of that egg pallet, but we'll see with that. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. If you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.